Good afternoon. Well, recently, um, our youth group had the opportunity to go to Christ Teens, and there was something really interesting that was spoken by a keynote speaker, and he said, a body was meant to go. And oftentimes, in the Bible, the church is referred to as the body of Christ. And um, in the physical realm, if a body is stagnant for a long period of time, atrophy will begin to occur. And this is the breaking down or wasting away of a cell, and it can result in the harm of the entire body. Um, I believe this also occurs in the church. Likewise, if you would, please turn with me to 1 Corinthians 12.12. 12. Um, 1 Corinthians 12.12. 12. For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many are one body, so it is with Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and all were made to drink of one spirit. For the body does not consist of one member, but of many. If the foot should say, because I am not a hand, I do not belong to the body, that would not make it any less a part of the body. And if the ear should say, because I am not an eye, I do not belong to the body, that would not make it any less part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would be the sense of hearing? If the whole body were an ear, where would be the sense of smell? But as it is, God arranged the members in the body, each one of them, as he chose. If all were a single member, where would be the body? As it is, there are many parts, yet one body. So therefore, each one of us, we all have specific talents and different personalities and different gifts, which God's blessed us with. And I believe the purpose of those is for building up the body of Christ. And the act of building up occurs through going. Jesus' last commandment before he left the earth was to go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that he has commanded us. Now, I don't believe this is a decree for us all to be go become third world missionaries, although that is very important, but um, to be active in our going. And I think that is manifested in many different ways. I made a list of different ways, so to hopefully that will catalyze your thinking into how we can be more active goers. Um, number one is the way we communicate when we're on social media, um, playing video games or online chat. You know, just being Christ whenever we're on those things. You know, just actively looking for ways to, to glorify God and represent his name purely. Um, whenever you're playing sports or in any kind of athletic arena, just um, doing likewise, just living, living as Christ would and doing what he would do in that circumstance. Standing up for the outcast at school or in the workplace. And reacting in all circumstances with humility and grace, obtaining pure relationships, being upright in the locker room, having integrity in the workplace, um, men being examples of leadership in the home, and allowing the marriage to represent Christ's love for the church. So I challenge us this week to mobilize the body of Christ and to be actively going. So if anybody needs the prayers of the church or would like to obey, this, obey Jesus in baptism, please come forward as we stand and sing.